What's up guys, welcome back to Golf Simulator Videos. We're back today with the FlightScope Mevo Plus and we're connected to the GS Pro Golf Simulator software. Now if you saw our first look video, we took you guys out to the range and then we did some on-course practice. We displayed all kinds of different shots, but we didn't really have a chance to hit driver or go actually go out and play on a course and that's what we're here to do today. So before I move on, if you guys haven't had a chance, please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it, like the video, comment below any questions questions you have or anything you'd like to see. And as always, if you're looking to purchase a FlightScope Mevo Plus or any golf simulator hardware or software, doesn't matter if it's turf, screens, projectors, you know, you're looking to build a full setup, especially if you're looking to build a commercial facility. I've been helping a ton of people open commercial facilities. Make sure you shoot me an email. I'll pin it to the top of the comments and put it in the description. Always trying to get everybody the best information and pricing. So let's go ahead and dive right out. We're gonna go to local game. And I'm actually going to show you guys a really cool course on here. I think it's called the Home of the Players. You'll see how many courses I have installed. I mean, I don't even think I have them all installed either. But uh, the Home of the Players, TPC Sawgrass. All right, we're actually going to go out and play the back nine. Um, I'll just leave all of this pretty standard. We'll, we can do it at five foot gimmies. Um, I think a lot of people might be playing, you know, something a little bit closer to... Uh, you know, to eight or 10, um, just because you're using a radar device, but can you do the five? I really think you can. Um, my putting is working really well with the FlightScope Evo Plus. I do putt without a dot. So understand that I putt without a dot. That's recommended by FlightScope. So um, I actually went out on number 10 here and was doing some practice shots uh, the other day, some testing, I posted it on our social media. Um, and it's such a cool course. I thought this would be perfect to go out and do some on-course play and show you guys. So this was a really cool hole. I kept trying to get it over this bunker down here and uh, it's not easy to do. I really think that it's, you have to hit it really strong, kind of like draw the ball around. We'll try it one more time. Um, not easy to do at all though. So I'm using my little mini map down there in the lower right. But let's give it a shot. Let's see if we can get it down there close. And if we're, we're way short, we're good. We're in the uh, fairway. And if we're a little short, you're in that bunker. And you do have penalties to deal with. Let's see what we can do here. I think I pushed that ball. Yeah, that ball is going to be pushed to the right a little bit. It could be in our favor if it's not too long, though. Yeah, look at this. Stop. Oh, that's like exactly what I would like if I'm not going to hit a heavy draw and make it over that. It gives you a great look at this pin over here, which is fantastic. Didn't even realize that. But uh, yeah, it just gives you a good look at the green from this angle. It's not bad at all. 103 yards. You guys have to let me know what you think of this course. Um, I just think that it was obviously really well designed. I like the look at all, all the textures. It's got like this really tall rough and you know, it's the players. I mean, they're gonna grow the rough out, you know? So I think little things like that are cool when you see that. All right, so yeah, so driver, let's, let's put my stats up there really quick so you guys can see them. 157 ball speed. Um, you know, I did feel like that was a little low on the face. That would make total sense. I lost some carry and uh, it was a high spinning ball. And if for any reason I wanted to have um, my flight scope information on another TV, I told people they're coming out with a version two of this Connect software and it will actually have some like graphical representation and things like that. Um, but you know, it's got club head speed, angle of attack, your path, your face, um, all of your information. One thing to point out though, see how it says carry yards? Well, right now it doesn't matter if you change it to yards or meters, it actually is showing meters. So don't pay attention, um, you know, to the launch monitor carry just yet. They will get that fixed. Okay. So let's look at our little mini map here. What we're trying to do. Um, I'm just going to go right at the pin. I think 103 yards, got a gap wedge. You can see it automatically selected that nicely. So that's cool. Let's see if we can get my 54 degree right up there in the right spot. Well, I think it's going to be all about distance because I hit it quite well. I'll get in there. Birdie on the first hole. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Stuffed the wedge right in there and uh, we're off and running. Um, yeah, check this out. Look at the water. Um, this is a really cool course. Really cool course. All right. Number 11. You know, I've only played this course a few times, so I really don't know it that well. 
So this is a par five. Let's look at our mini map again. I always like taking the time to go over here and looking at the mini map. So, you know, it's, it's a good, good position down there. If you can get it in the middle of the fairway, um, looks like your next shot is going to be a challenging one. That's for sure. What is that all penalty area? That's water up there. Whew. What a tough course. What a tough course. Oh, I think I pushed it again. Yeah, that's going to be pushed hard. That could be trouble. Just not releasing the club right now, which is obviously causing challenges. Oh, get a roll down the cart path. That's real life right there. All right. No relief off the cart path, but you can hit it off the concrete. So a little bit of a challenge here, but I've got a nice window. Yeah, I just left that face wide open. Oh, so what am I dealing with? I could either lay up or try to go over the water and look at that. So I feel like this is just where you lay up. I mean, you have a decent lie on the concrete. You're just gonna hit like a, an eight iron for me. Lay up, drink your medicine a little bit, right? Let's just get it down there for a good shot to the green. Shouldn't be too bad. Get over that tree. Yep. Perfect. Exactly what I was trying to do. Let's see what the speed. Yes, yeah, so you lose like a little bit of speed and a little bit of uh, spin off the concrete, but nothing crazy. I've been on the concrete before in GS Pro, not with FlightScope Mevo Plus, but uh, so, I, you know, it's all the same, you know, as far as deductions go. So here we go again. This is that 100 yard shot. If I can replicate my 54 degree, maybe just a little bit less distance. We could stick it up there close. I want to show you guys putting. I'm not going to be stuffing them like that all day. That's for sure. Oh man, that was another pretty darn good shot. Get out of the circle. There we go. <laughs> all right. I wanted to be able to show you guys putting. So, um, good, good, good. We're out of the circle. I'm going to grab my ball with no dot on it. There we go. We're going to set this up and we're going to look at our break. We're going to be putting dead straight and just aligning with our little stick here. So, I mean, it's barely moving. I'm going like left center. All right. Eight feet. Really got to keep it on line. Just going to move maybe a little bit. There it is. There it is. We're two under out here at TPC Sawgrass. I'm not complaining. Not complaining at all. All right, let's look at our mini map here. Oh, what do we have here? 276 or 275 right down there. I think that's the play. I need to release my driver this time though. Need to release my driver. Just leaving the face wide open. I can feel it. It's my normal swing. Always want to make sure the button, the dot is kind of facing towards the screen. I take my dot, I put it on my ball. People ask this, they're like, my dot fell off. Well, I actually put it on there. I push it on. Then I take it over to the hard surface, my like little countertop, and I roll it on back and forth with a hard surface. My dot never comes off. Um, it's an easy way to get it on there super securely. So a little tip for you guys there with the FlightScope Mevo Plus. I released that time. That should be a decent ball. It's just low on the face again. Like I can feel how low it is on the face. Um, and then sure enough, I look up and look at the spin. Like I'm still getting good ball speed, I'm getting good, you know, fair distance. Um, but yeah, just low on the face. All right. So 58 yards. This is not my sweet spot with my wedges. <laughs> and I know how important it is. We went out and played some real golf the other day and the weather's been terrible in Michigan. Um, but we got to sneak out there. It was so windy. It was tough to swing driver because it was like moving your driver when you were trying to swing. The wind's just been ridiculous. But this is, I left like a, a shot short one time. I left it 20 feet past the pin. This little 50 yard distance, um, I really need to get dialed in. I feel like I'm better in here than I am outside. I don't know if it's just that different feeling or what. I got under the ball in the rough a couple times, which you can't replicate that in a sim. 
Yeah, I think that's short. You guys get to see putting again. All right, let's see what we can do. That wasn't terrible. We left ourselves a decent putt. Like I said, we're playing five foot gimmies. Um, and I just think it's it's still very realistic. I had several people say, well, I don't think you're gonna be able to play five foot gimmies. And I said, well, if you're set up even fair, you gotta remember, I'm playing on a kind of a rough surface here. My mat's not completely perfect. My ball bounces there if my angle of attack's a little weird. Um, and I have it working quite well. So what is this? It's almost 13 feet because it's a little uphill. I just kind of put it left, uh, I'm sorry, right center again, because you can see it's breaking just a little bit. That might be a little hard. Oh, right in the center of the cup though. That was, I'm telling you right now, if that was not dead center of the cup, that would have lipped out or probably bounced. I got lucky on that one. Uh, three under <laughs> so far here at TPC Sawgrass. This is this is fun. This is a lot of fun. So do you hit nine iron or eight iron? For me, and because I'm not really warmed up, it's early morning here in Michigan, I'm gonna aim just a little bit right because I don't like the left miss. And I think we're gonna hit a soft eight. Just a soft eight. Just trying to get on the green. Don't wanna get in trouble here. Oh, they talk about a soft eight. That was, I didn't hit the sweet spot on the iron. Oh, so good though. I'll take it all day. All right, guys, I have to apologize. I had some technical difficulties with some batteries dying on me and my camera because I actually don't have it permanently plugged in. I kept playing and didn't realize that uh, audio was working fine and I had no camera, it was messed up. So um, we're gonna have to pause it there for the on-course play today. Am I very disappointed because I was killing it out there? Yeah, I am, I'm very disappointed, but it, I didn't wanna not do the video because I'm extremely busy right now and I wanted to make sure I got it out there for you guys so you can see some on-course play. Um, obviously, you know, driving, um, you know, we did some irons and wedges, got some putting in there and everything. Uh, obviously we have the FlightScope Mevo Plus working very well with the GS Pro golf simulator software. So it was great to at least get that video out there. So that's what we're doing. Um, you know, I appreciate you guys watching as always. And if there's a course you want to see, we'll get another nine hole or 18 hole round in there. Maybe we'll do a live stream. All right. And uh, that'd be great, I think, um, to show some more, you know, play with the Mevo Plus and GS Pro. Um, so I apologize for kind of cutting it short here today. Um, that's that's my fault. I'll take the blame on that. So um, other than that, make sure you comment below. Let me know what you guys think, anything that you guys want to see. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. And like I said, if you're looking to purchase the FlightScope Mevo Plus or any golf simulator, hardware or software, be sure to email me. It's pinned to the top of the comments in the description. I appreciate it. All right, we'll talk to you soon.